Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Victoria DL here from Tonic Studios. I'm part of Tonic Studios design team here in the UK. For anyone that's not been to my channel before, big hello. And to everyone that knows me, a big squishy hello. Now then, um, today I'm sharing with you, uh, as you can see here, it isn't a designer's choice, it's in another envelope, but it is the Showcase Rosette. And it will come to you packaged up in a lovely envelope that will be a showcase envelope and I've put all mine here on a magnetic mat but I'm sure yours will arrive on a, on, a, on a magnetic sheet there and you'll see here we have a beautiful rosette die and you've got various sentiments in here um, you've got little uh, ribbon um, you know when you you get a pair of scissors and you pull it down and you get all those fancy little ribbons that's those there you've got uh, a little star there and a bigger star you've got um, a banner a shoot for the moon kind of star there and then you've got this fantastic trophy uh, which has a deboss of like a number one written on there so it would be number one dad number one brother etc you've got then the tails for the rosette and then we have this fantastic stamp set. Now I'm going to try and take that out of the packet and put it on some white cards so that you can see. Now let's put it so there's no glare there. So we have You're the Greatest. So it could be Dad, Mum, uh, Friend, Girlfriend, Teacher. Then you've got Thanks for Being. And then you've got Such a Wonderful Person. You've got Hashtag One got these lovely like a burst there that be coming out of the top of the trophy you've got a beautiful rosette that you can stamp within the rosette you've got mum friend of the year girl it's your birthday you got this um goes to you so you make you make everything up as you go and you've got a little floral element there and super and you've got a little A down there and the down here. So it's up to you how you want to um, make your card, make your greeting. Um, so that's, that's a fantastic um, stamp set to have, actually. Just even for the dad, the mum, the girl, the boy. Um, really useful stamp set there. So without further ado... I have a card here made up for you. Oh, and I must point out, this rosette, you have an outer die, you have the inner die, and then you have two other circular dies, one with a stitched round the edge, and then you have the three there that are the, your sentiments, and then you have a scalloped edge as well. So plenty of choice there for you. I think one says congrats. The other one says woohoo and uh, what does that one say? That one's woohoo. What does this one say? I can't remember now. Um, well done you. Well done you. So well done you, woohoo and congrats. So I'm going to put that to one side and we'll share one that we created earlier, suitable for dad. And we've just done your basic mat and layer and it's a five by seven card. We've stamped in the background just randomly in black ink, dad. And then we've done it in the gold and the black satin there, cardstock from Tonic. And then some lovely satin and pearlescent gold card there. So I think send that to any dad for any occasion, whether it was his birthday or whether it's Father's Day. Or just to say, hi, dad. Well done on whatever it is that you might have done. Um, so we're going to make another one now. And I'm actually bringing back an old die set. So... Just for the base, as you know, anyone that knows me, I do like to mix and match old with new. I think it um, it brings your old dies 
back to life. It lets you create different things and newer things, bringing your old die sets back. At the end of the day, you've invested money into old die sets, new die sets. So get them all out and mix and match them. So this is the Twisted Veranda die set and it was one of my absolute favourite die sets uh, of all time. So I've basically cut um, one of these out. I've scored across the top for the back panel of the card and I've trimmed the bottom off so it has somewhere to stand. So I'm going to place adhesive on this top part of the card. So as you know, deluxe adhesive every time, best glue in the world. And we'll just stick this one together so easy enough to line up and then just hold that till it's grabbed. And the good thing with deluxe deluxe adhesive is that it grabs quickly. So here we have the detail pattern from that die set. And many of you will have this die set, and for those that don't, I'm sure you'd be able to pick one up from. I don't know, eBay or, or somewhere like that, or even the the website that uh, deals with second-hand tonic dyes on Facebook. There's a lady there that runs a group. Um, so I'll put some glue on the inner part there. I don't usually bring out older dies, uh, you know, I usually bring you the new stuff, but I just thought that this die set was perfect backing for the rosette die, just to make a bit of a wow of a card. So, i bring that here. I mean, I mix and match my new and my old all the time at home. It just gives everything that longevity. And you've spent all your hard-earned money on these dice, so you want to still use the old things as well as the new. So there we have our card blank made up, and the card will actually sit proud on the mantle. Okay, so I have a base layer there, which I'm going to put foam pads onto to raise it up and add that little bit of depth and dimension to your card. I do like to add depth um, to a card. I think it just gives added interest. So I'm going to be a bit greedy here and give it plenty of support because we don't want it dipping. And we will put that on the card. So I hope everybody's well. Uh, it's a while since I brought you a showcase, so there we go. So I'm just going to put this down here, there we go, and that just gives you that added depth there. So already a pretty card, but we're now going to bring in some of the elements that we have already cut. So I'll just bring those into play. That's it. I think we've got everything there. Now we've cut um, the base of the rosette out. I've got a little bit of tape still stuck there. Hang on. There we go. Don't want you on there. So the base of your die uh, is that one there. And then I've cut the detail in white Craft Perfect. This is the Arctic Blue um, Craft Perfect there. Then we have the white. And then I've cut a white centre out here. And I'm going to heat emboss using the sentiments. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm basically going to bring into play... The Nouveau Clear Mark uh, ink pad, um, a Nouveau Tonic uh, acrylic block, and then I'm going to bring in the stamps. So I'm going to stamp this one here. So we're going to use this one there, 
and also we're going to use the boy and I'm going to place that in the center now and I'll do them all in one go now I am going to rub the piece of card with a little bit of anti-static powder um, it removes all the grease marks from your fingers or anything that's touched the card so that the actual uh, powder goes straight into the um, embossed image and nowhere else because you don't want it sticking so basically I'm going to do some gentle tapping with the ink pad make sure it's all completely covered now if you're not a fan of an acrylic block and you'd rather use a platform that is absolutely fine so we've covered that there and then I'm going to probably bring my head into the way so that you can see what I'm doing so apologies and then stamp down there with some pressure and lift away and then I'm going to get my embossing powder which is the Nouveau Silver embossing powder and I'm just going to completely cover that and then I'm going to get my fine tweezers and carefully lift him up not quite centre on but not bad and then I'm going to pour this back into the jar there we go waste not want not and put that away and then I'm going to heat set this with my heat gun so apologies for the noise And you'll probably start to see it go. It takes a little while for this heat gun to warm up. You start to see it go on the edges. There we go. All the way around. There we go. Like I say, it's not exactly spot on in the centre, but it will I've got another one prepared there anyway. But that is how you heat set there. With the silver embossing powder so i've got a cool one there that's cooled down so i'm going to gently um we'll get some more foam pads i should say let's put this on a foam pad or two like i say i do like a little bit of depth and dimension so we shall just add little bit more support there in the middle and a little bit more there hope oh, we're in view there we go and a little bit more if there's anything worse than a card dipping in the middle if it's not got enough support so cut that there and that one there and then we'll put a foam pad on the back of there. Right. So. Take the back ends off there. And then carefully line him up it's about there and then place the die cut in the center now if you wanted to you could actually fill in this little rosette part here with some wet adhesive and put glitter on or you could color in with your markers that would also work very well so I'm putting that to one side and we shall put the rosette strips together so basically I've got two of each and we shall glue those together now so I'm going to glue these flat because they are going to go underneath the back now 
it's up to you how long you want your tails you can have very long tails shorter tails you could snip them to make them shorter you could overlap them at the back so they're not as long it's completely up to you there's no right way or wrong way it's your way and whatever works for you so we'll place this on here I just thought this was beautiful for little boy's card, baby's card, first birthday or so I'll place this on here and the banner, finished banner on the top. I think you also find this set very, very useful. There we go. So they're now made up. Now, I just cross them over like that, one over the other, and then work out really how long I want my tails to be. And I don't want them really long tails. I'd like them about there, really. So I'm just going to place adhesive on the back of one, cross it over to the other, like I say, you could cut these shorter and place them just to the bottom of the rosette. You don't have to have all that bulk at the top if you don't want to. This is completely up to you. It's your project. But I just, no point really cutting it because it can just sit at the back. So I think it's about there for me. Make sure your rosette is more or less central on. And then just press firmly on there. And then I'm going to cut some more strips of the foam pads, just, just roughly, they don't have to be spot on. And we'll put two on the bottom of the legs there. And then we'll place some larger ones on the actual thing itself. I might put another one there. Another one there, just to give it plenty of support. So, take the backings off. There we go. And I'm going to place that about up there. That will do there. And then we have this little banner here. So the die set, it comes to you, let's show you there, comes to you there in two pieces. So I've cut it in blue and then I've stamped and heat embossed on the white strip there and birthday. And then I've cut another one in the silver card, a holographic, and I'm just going to shadow that. So I'm just going to add wet adhesive to the banner. And then I'm going to bring it down so that you can just see a shadow layer of that mirror there. And let that just set. Okay. So I'm going to add, yet again, more foam pads. And I'm going to put one in the centre. And then I'm going to cut a little piece for the ends, there we go, and this is going to go to the top of the card, so we're going to have that, I think we'll have it, where should we have it, I think we'll have it about there, just to the top of the card, and then we've got these lovely little ribbons, so we're going to add some of those to the card. So it'd be one there, one there, and one to the top there, or maybe one there. Let's have a look. Uh, I think maybe two would be enough for this card. Yeah. So we'll just add a little bit of wet adhesive there, trailing down, bringing down there. And then another one on the other side. 
and do you know what i don't think it needs anything else i was going to add a little star but an actual fact i don't actually think it needs it i've got this all cut to make the star um and i was going to put the silver in there for the star but do you know what i don't think the card needs it i think that's more than enough there for this card and there we have a gorgeous card that sits upright and uh, yeah I really like that. I think I might have added a little bit of colour here maybe, um, maybe a little bit of glitter. Uh, shall we add a little bit of colour now or not? Have we got a marker that's a similar colour? Let me have a look. Let me have a look. This should be done before we put it on the card, but hey ho. Is that a similar colour? Mm, it's not too bad. Let me see if we've got another another blue there. Well, that's definitely too dark. Uh, let's have a gander. Oh, now there we go. Right. So I do this before you actually stick the rosette on the card, but we can add a little bit more colour and I think we'll do every other. I'd say do this before because it, if the pen seeps through, I mean I, we're on foam pads so we, we will be okay here, but you know alcohol markers do bleed through card. I think this just adds that little bit more colour just to the centre. It's just a little bit too plain. There we go. And I think that makes all the difference. Now you could add a stronger blue if you wanted to. But I think that will do the job. And of course you can add drops here and there if you wanted to. Your nouveau drops. So we just add a little bit more colour there. No art to that. There we go. That leaves it not so plain then, doesn't it? There's a little bit plain there. So there we've got two cards, um, completely different. This is bold colours uh, with your black and your golds. And, uh, and then we've got a pastel there for a baby boy's birthday. It could be a first birthday. Um, are there any, any numbers on here? No numbers on here, but I mean, you could, put, you could add a one onto a banner. You could put a one underneath the boy there if you wanted to. So, oh, we've got hashtag one there. But, um, yeah, so that is Showcase Rosette. Um... And if this uh, stamp and die set interests you, it will be available from Tonic. And I will also have my links in the description if you'd like to purchase through me. Um, it doesn't cost you any extra to purchase through my links. Um, I just make a small commission on each sale. Um, but if you'd like to, to purchase from Tonic, then, then feel free. And um, I'd just like to say thanks very much for joining me today. I really appreciate your company. Um, I won't be doing any more showcases. Um, this is my last one with you guys. Um, I'm not leaving Tonic. I'm still with Tonic, but um, I will just be doing die sets for Tonic for Create and Craft. Um, so you'll still see all my makes on Facebook. I'll still be mithing you all to pieces. And I'll still be bringing tutorials, um, probably um, some more projects like you've known me for in the past, like my camera and lampshades and things like that. Um, so we'll be going back to my my old roots, so to speak. But it's been absolutely fantastic to have your company. Really appreciate the feedback and the comments that you give me and um, look forward to sharing more with you very soon. So take care, everybody. Bye for now.